Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to start the video out with um, some solds I've had recently. A lot of times I do little video clips when I sell an item, but I've been so busy the past week or so that um, I didn't get a chance to. So I'm just going to go through a list of things that have sold within the past week to 10 days. And then we'll jump into some other things like a quick thrift with me, very quick and some of my holiday decorations and other sold items. So just the normal stuff. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that has sold recently is another group of those Sheriff Kelly play figures. Like I said in another video, these are discontinued toys. The show was only on Disney Junior for two years. So the toys are, they tend to be sought after because they're hard to find. So for this set, I took an offer for $15 and they paid shipping on top of that. Um, generally, I sell them for about $18.99, but um, this is like the fourth or fifth set I've sold, and so um, it's all profit at this point, so I took the offer for $15. I also sold a Department 56 Santa ornament, a vintage ornament. This sold for $15.99 plus shipping. Then I sold a Vilroy and Box Santa ornament in the box. This was vintage, I can't remember the year, um, but considered vintage at this point. And it was $9 plus shipping. I think I took an offer on that. Um, I sold a Gone with the Wind Village House. These are collectible little village houses. There's a bunch of different ones for Gone with the Wind. I think this one was called Rhett's Return. This I took an offer for $10 plus shipping. Okay, now also the other sold items you'll see in the video because I actually made video clips of those. So let's move on to Etsy. Um, two orders there that I sold in the past week. So I sold that, that um, set of three Mikasa crystal mugs made in Germany, the Christmas tree mugs. I recently listed those, so they sold pretty quick. It was while I was running a sale, and so they sold for about $43. Now that is free shipping on that. And then I sold an antique pottery teapot. This is um, Japanese shark skin pottery. So the glaze is like a textured glaze. It almost looks like an orange peel. Um, they call this the shark skin glaze. And it's just a small teapot, very, very pretty. And that sold on Etsy for $30. Now that one also had free shipping. So on Etsy, my shop is uh, free shipping when orders are over $35. It's one of the options you can use. And so, I, and so I do use that in my shop. Now, the interesting thing about this order for the teapot is the person sent me an offer and that's the first time I've ever gotten an offer on Etsy. So they asked if they could buy it for $30. And so I accepted the offer. And then they messaged me saying, I thought it was free shipping because the original price on the teapot was $39.99, I think, with free shipping. And I forgot all about that. So when I accepted the $30, Etsy was adding the shipping. And so they were a little confused and I understood that. So what I did, was I gave it to them for $30 with free shipping. I just went in and edited the listing and told them, ignore the offer that I accepted and just go back into my store and buy it. I changed it to free shipping. So they got that for $30 with free shipping. And I didn't mind that at all. Um, I forgot that Etsy had implemented an offer program. And I remember they said I could opt into it back when it was still kind of in beta testing and I didn't opt into it but I guess now it's live so people can send offers I guess so that was interesting so sales have been pretty good now I did mention in my last video that I got accepted to sell on knickknacks I've been listing on there quite regularly and I have a lot of listings no sales yet but it is a growing platform and I'm excited to be there so I am being very patient about it it's going to just keep growing. So that is it for now. And, and now we'll get into the rest of the video where I was able to make some video clips over the past week. I'm trying to do a video a week now, but it's it can get kind of hard. But that's the plan to try. 
All right, so let's get on with the rest of the video. For some reason, I left this owl there. I'm really sad about that. Then I saw two bags of Christmas ornaments. They looked vintage and they did turn out to be vintage. The fruit were made in Germany and these bells were made in Colombia. And they were only $2 a bag. So I was very happy with that. That painting in the car is from Hobby Lobby. I bought it for my daughter. Um, this little pottery cup I thought was cute. So I bought that um, because I was doing a pottery sale on whatnot. So I thought that would be great. And then I really couldn't resist this duck planter. It was made in Taiwan and he had a crocheted scarf. So cute. In my cart, you can see I had a Kanawa satin glass pitcher with a red interior. It was so pretty, but I noticed a crack on it. So I did end up leaving it. So that's everything I got at Goodwill at this trip. I had two sales on eBay today. I sold this really pretty frosted satin glass vase. It is a Bristol vase. And I took an offer for $15. And it is going to someone in Texas. I also sold a set of these plates. They're like little bread plates with the cording couple pattern. They're really pretty. I crest a gold and um, I remember there was a name on this. W S. I can't remember it. I'd have to put it at the bottom of the screen. But I just love the gold on the edge. The little the really pretty scroll design. So I sold this set of five, yeah, the set of five for $30, which was an offer I took. And so I need to get these out. I think they're going to someone in Massachusetts. So two nice sales for today. It is still early December, so I'm hoping the sales keep rolling in. I went to Goodwill after work again today and found a couple great items. So I'm getting them listed and I'll show you everything I got. One of them is this awesome vintage sewing box. It says the quilted cat. It's really adorable. And it's in great shape. It has a plastic tray inside and then it's very clean on the inside it even has some pins very good shape for its age and i paid 5.99 for this so my idea is to go ahead and list this on ebay etsy and knickknacks which is the newest platform I'm listing on through district.net. Knickknacks was created by the crazy lamp lady. So yeah, I'm going to actually list this box tonight and I'll show you the other items when I get to listing them. 
I also found this vintage Hazel Atlas strawberry jar. Very clean. It's in pretty good shape. There's some small little chips right there on the edge of the on the edge of the green leaves. Not too bad. Little paint loss there. But I paid two dollars for it. And I should be able to get about 12 to 15. I'm gonna actually try this out on whatnot uh, for my next sale. And then if it doesn't sell, I'll probably put it on eBay and maybe knickknacks. I was so happy to find these pink depression glass tumblers. These were made by Hazel Atlas in the 1930s. And the pattern is called Royal Lace. And they sell for about 10 to $15 per glass. So very excited about these. They only charged me 99 cents per glass. So that was great, a great find. I'm gonna probably try these out on whatnot, but in the meantime, I think I'm gonna go ahead and list them on knickknacks, eBay, and Etsy. They're very pretty pink depression glass. And the last thing I found tonight at Goodwill, I was so surprised to see this sitting on a shelf. It is the Fenton Silvercrest bowl, and this is the large nine and a half inch bowl with these beautiful violets painted. They do look hand painted. And when I look this up, it's called Violets in the Snow. Beautiful piece of Fenton glass. So I paid $4, but there's no Fenton marking on it which I believe means that it is prior to 1970. So yeah, I'm so thrilled to have found this beautiful bowl for $4 at Goodwill. This will probably go right away on knickknacks as well as eBay and Etsy. I had two sales on eBay today. Um, both of them were offers that I accepted. The first one, is this little crystal bear. This is Waterford. It has the Waterford mark on the bottom. It's gonna be hard to see in this light. There, kind of see it. And I've had this for a while. I did not pay much for this at Goodwill. It's a little teddy bear with a block. And I took an offer for $17 plus shipping for him. And the other item that sold were these two Pyrex dishes. These are, were, these were made in England and the pattern is country autumn. So these I sold, I took an offer for $20 plus shipping. I'm gonna go ahead and get these packed up and that bear. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you give it a thumbs up? I will see you in the next one. Bye.